So originally my plan was to use the original flywheel that came with this 2014 motor. However, as I started looking at options for clutch assemblies, they were not readily available. They were rather expensive and the flywheel interfered with the input shaft on the transmission. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in just a second. Anyways, what I decided to do was I decided to go with a different flywheel. So I ordered this flywheel from Ram Clutches. Now Ram Clutches works with a couple of different companies to sell their product. However, this particular flywheel was not available through either of the other companies. And so I had to order this one directly from Ram Clutches. Now this flywheel is now available at two other online sources because of this build right here. So I ordered this flywheel and a clutch, both built by Ram Clutches, that are designed specifically for this engine swap. Now one of the things that we have to do when we look at the old flywheel and the new flywheel, we have to make sure that the bolt pattern is the same. So what I did was I put the old flywheel upside down and then I set this flywheel on top of it upside down. And if you look down through here, you can see that the bolt pattern is the same. Also, you can see that this 2014 flywheel is much smaller here in the center. And that is what interferes with the input shaft on the transmissions. So we've gone ahead and set this flywheel up and lined up the bolt holes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take my bolts and I'm gonna run them in temporarily just to make sure that they all go in like they are supposed to. And then we will come back and we will put thread locker on each bolt. Now that we have started these bolts in here, I'm going to go ahead and come back through. We will put a little bit of this blue Loctite on each one of these bolts and then we'll run it into place and then we'll come back and we will torque them all down. We torque these flywheel bolts down to 75 foot-pounds, which is what they call for for the size. This particular clutch does not have a marking. We can see that this clutch will fit, this side will fit in this pressure plate, but will not fit in the flywheel. So we know that it has to go this direction. Typically that's the direction that they go anyway, springs out, but I like to check them. We're gonna put our clutch alignment tool up, make sure that we get everything pushed up into the pilot bearing. And then this actually takes some locating pins here and here, but I don't have them right now. I'm gonna go ahead and install this pressure plate. I'm just gonna line this up so that those pins are where they're supposed to be and I can come back and put those pins in it later. I'm just gonna get this started and then I'll come back and we'll torque it down and show you how that's gonna go. These pressure plate bolts call for 35 foot-pounds of torque. So we're gonna go ahead and torque them now. And we're going to skip every other one so we get them torqued down equally. And then we'll come back and torque the ones that we skipped. Now, the pressure plate is on. Clutch is in place. Our Clutch alignment tool slides in and out nicely, which means that our transmission will bolt up. So now we're gonna put the bell housing back on this. Now, we've already done this once before, but GM has moved a bolt that used to be right here on their small blocks that is now up here. 
We're just going to bolt this up with five bolts and then we'll just make sure that we torque them down the way that they're supposed to be torqued down. It doesn't take an excessive amount of pressure at this spot anyways. Most of the pressure actually winds up on these dowel pins. In order for us to get the throw out bearing set to the proper distance, we want to reach in here and measure from these fingers on this pressure plate out here to the edge of this bell housing. Now that will allow us to set our throw out bearing at the right distance. So what we have here is 2.690. So what we will do is we will transfer that measurement to the edge of this transmission right here and we'll take off the distance for this input shaft seal housing and we will figure out the spacing that we need for our throw out bearing to set on this. Unfortunately the throw out bearing was supposed to be here yesterday and it hasn't got here yet. So hopefully it gets here today. <laughs> 